Hello, sweetie pies. It's wonderful to see you. It's always wonderful to see you. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> I miss you very, very much, and I hope this uh, this message finds all of you doing really, really well. And if you're new and have never seen me before, my name is Mrs. C, um, and it's wonderful that you've joined us. So thank you so much for joining, joining me and uh, my wonderful, beautiful family of kindergarten students. So we have been looking at plants and what they need to grow and uh, I would like to share with you a story about just that very thing and in order for things to grow we first must plant some seeds. So today's story is called Planting Seeds. You see that little beautiful bud there? I bet there's a lot of those happening all over the place outside. Maybe after we've read this book, you and your special adult could go outside for a nature walk and see how many buds that you can see growing at the moment. I'm sure there's a ton. So this is the table of contents. It tells you what's coming up in the book on what page. So here it says spring is here, page four, from seed to plant page six, and who plants seeds, page 14. And then it gives you some other things at the bottom, but these will be the pages that we are going to read. Spring is here, cold winter weather ends. It's time to plant seeds. So these are the farmers hard at work and we thank them so much for all the work that they do because without the farmers, we sure wouldn't have a lot of the food that we have on our tables today. So thank you to all of our hardworking farmers. From seed to plant. Seeds need rain and sun. Spring storms water the seeds. So it tells you two very important things that seeds need to grow. Did you hear what they were? Rain and sun. Excellent listening, good job. Seeds crack open, roots push down. So you can see the stages of the seed growing. So there's a little tiny bit, there's the seed, the first little sprout coming out, and then more and more and more, and it's digging into the earth until it finally looks like that and then starts to push out and grow. Seeds push up from the soil. They are called shoots. I wonder if you went outside right now if you would find some shoots in the soil. I bet I'd, you could put your detective hat on and go outside and get very close to the earth and see if you can find your own shoots. Green leaves grow, small buds form, then the flowers bloom. Look at those beautiful flowers. The next book I read is going to be all about flowers. Who plants seeds? A farmer plants seeds. Corn grows tall in fields. You see all that corn right there? Again, thanks to all of our farmers' hard work growing all that beautiful corn for us. A gardener plants seeds. She grows food in her backyard. Do any of your special adults, mums, dads, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles grow food in their backyard? I've always wanted to, but I have to say I am not the best at growing things, but it would be a very good thing to do. Miss Rose's class plants seeds. They grow grass. Do you see the grass? I was thinking of growing some grass for my kitties. Maybe we should try growing grass inside and then I could do a video on that for you. Lewis and his dad plant seeds. They grow flowers. What seeds will you plant? Are you going to be planting any seeds this spring to watch them grow? If you do, I would love to hear all about it. Just email me, it would be great. 
And if you have pictures, even better. And that is the end of our story for today, Planting Seeds. Thank you so much for joining me. Always wonderful to share some time with you. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.